I would love to see 48-year-old Terrell okay. Owens. <laughs> yeah, okay. for, hey, 44-year-old Tom Brady out here throwing 40 yeah, touchdowns. 48-year-old yeah. Terrell Owens could moss somebody <laughs> once or twice. <laughs> well, I love at least Man. at least tell me you'd love to see it. At least tell me you would love to see it. Right. Tell no, me that I don't want to see it. Bro, you uh, you up in you you up in the Hall of Fame. Like you in the museum. Okay. All right. I saw All right. Night at the already... Museum. I saw Night at the Museum too. I don't need to see it with T.O. coming out of Canton. I think it'd be a great field. story. Be a no, great story. I, like, hey man, he's got his bus has a Santa hat. Okay? You're like you made it. You made it. We know you can do it. Who's to say who's to say I can't do it? Nobody said you can't do it. That's right. You got to tell him. I know you can do it. I know you can. I don't want to see it, but I, know I don't you like can. you patting him on the head. No, you patting him on the head like it would be a disaster yeah. if he tried yeah. to do it. He yeah, go yeah. out there and embarrass himself. Brady's in okay. the Hall of Fame for all intents and purposes, and he keeps defying father time. Was, I think it'd be look, awesome if Terrell Owens got an Brady, opportunity. Was Brady ever T.O.? Like I'm talking about T.O. when T.O. played. In like, what regard? In in talent, where his decline, talent had no, a certain no, level. No, no, so, no, no, right. no, 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 no. So like, I know, it's not apples to oranges. He's, it's not he's apples kinda, to oranges. Right, he's kind of leaving out some details. Well, look, you know, you see Josh Gordon, younger. Um, you see uh, Antonio Brown, much younger. With these opportunities, why not me? Because, bro, okay. you're my age. <laughs> <laughs> See what, like you know what? I mean, okay, okay. Why can't just let this man dream? Let, why are you trying to? Why are you hey, a dream killer? You know, you're such a dream killer. Funny. Let this no, man. Let this like, man. Let him. Let him cook. I, we let have him this, cook. Points were made. In every era. Respect his point. I remember. Remember, uh, remember Jim Brown doing this. Jim Brown was like, I think he was on the cover of Sports Illustrated, with like a Raiders uniform on or something, because he was talking about, hey, I can still play. This is like nineteen eighty something. Been, that was probably before I was, was oh, okay. That might have been okay, before, was before when you, you were, were when you were was, when you were alive, not me. When I was when I yeah, right. Okay, you were alive, yeah, but yeah, you don't remember. Yeah. It was ten and years then, before I was born. And then yeah. the, the the late great Wilt Chamberlain, because these uh, these great these outsized uh, personalities. That's why they're so great. They think they can do anything. So I remember Wilt Chamberlain used to hate on Kareem. He'd be like, I can go out there, I can go out there and play. I can go out there and you know give you fifteen and ten. And this was in the nineties, like 20 <laughs> years after he played. <laughs> like, oh, man. I, dude, that, okay, okay. We appreciate y'all. Right. We appreciate y'all. Oh, geez. We appreciate you. But step aside. Let it go. Keep, let it, keep go. it moving. Let it keep go, it man. And let it go and just walk there away. I mean, I like now, nah, man, like and he still looked like that, though. He still looked like oh, he that. Looked great. He looks awesome. Okay. He looks awesome. Speaking of speaking of still. Speaking of still, Antonio Brown is still a Tampa Bay Buccaneer. That's where this whole conversation got started. Here's Bruce Arians earlier today addressing Brown's still uncertain status. Bruce, we talked on Sunday and Monday even, but there hasn't been any transactions made with Antonio Brown yet. Can you, can you say anything from the worst things? It's management decision of what, what's happening right now. And it's just a matter of how he's removed. There's no question that he's no longer with the team. Right. All right, management decision. Like I told you, my theory was yesterday that I, I think yeah, let's hear the Bucks in the league recognize the optics. But set aside my theory for a second. I want to address the theory that the Bucks are, for all intents and purposes, squatting on him uh, and trying to figure out how not to release him so that another contender. Could sign him. I'll say two things to that, and I'll say them as quickly as I can, which is a relative thing, of course. One, I don't think anybody signs Antonio Brown. I I believe his career is done. We have seen people come back from worse, but I believe everybody eventually runs out of second second chances. Okay, and I think what he did was so high profile, and has so many eyeballs and so much scrutiny on his entire rap sheet that I think this is much harder to explain away. Not to mention he committed the cardinal sin in the NFL of quitting on his team. Even though we still don't know the particulars about exactly what was said or whether he was hurt. I don't believe anybody would sign him right now. In short, he's too hot. He's just too hot. Okay, right. Um, could he ever come back? Again, we've seen people 
who we thought would never come back resurface for much worse than what we saw on Sunday. That's one. So I think it's I think they're preventing him from signing with somebody else unnecessarily. You know, I don't I don't see it, you know, a contender signing, but let's say that they, yeah. their intel is that somebody would jump on him. Here's what I don't like about the situation. If you think he's so damn toxic. Why do you care? You know, right. it's like when Mike Tomlin talked about um, what's my man. Um, that's that that used to be it, Melvin, with the Chargers. Ingram. Melvin Ingram, Melvin Ingram. Melvin. Yeah, we want We'd volunteers, rather, not hostages. Volunteers, not yeah. hostages. Yeah. We want the people who want to be here. So if Antonio Brown doesn't want to be in the game or doesn't want to be here, then let him go somewhere else and let you tell it. Let him blow up somebody else's spot. Let him mess up somebody else's locker room. Hell, if you want, he could be basically a double agent. Like addition by subtraction by getting him out of your locker room and then he goes somewhere else and acts a fool somewhere else because that's basically what we have been led to believe rightfully so because that's his track record that he eventually will lose his mind. Okay. And so if yeah. you're the Bucks, why do you care if he is go if he goes somewhere else? If he's no longer a help to you, let him go be great somewhere else or let him go self destruct somewhere else. So that's the two issues that I got with this idea that they're squatting on him so that he doesn't sign. Yeah, somewhere else. you know what? And the reason the reason I don't think that's happening, Michael uh, is you've got to be if you're trying to keep Antonio Brown away from somebody that means you're afraid of what he'll do for someone else. So, so who are you afraid of? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eliminate the entire AFC because you don't have to play them until you get to the Super Bowl. And if you get to the Super Bowl and that other team has Antonio Brown, I, I think you'll take your chances. You'll take your chances with anybody. I mean, in the Super Bowl, it's just one game. So that so AFC is out. So in the NFC, do you think the Packers, the number one team in the no. conference? No, are going to sign Not Antonio now. Brown. Who are you who are afraid no. of if the Rams? Are the Rams bringing him in? <laughs> no. Um, are, are, are the are, are the Cardinals bringing in Antonio? So I don't. I just don't think that there's anybody in the You're playoffs right. that uh, affect Buccaneer business that they'd be afraid of. Mm. But it, this is what this is what Bruce Arians. Bruce Arians has been telling the truth the entire time. I'll give him credit. Entire time he's been telling the truth. He didn't want Antonio Brown. They brought in Antonio Brown. Now he's saying uh, he, he told the truth. On Sunday, he's no longer a buck. As for me and where I stand, Bruce Arians should have said, he's no longer a buck. But when he says today it's a management decision, what he's saying is it's a Tom Brady decision. Tom Brady wins again. Tom Brady is now in a position. He's got the mic, he's got the platform, and he's using his platform to get what he wants. I, I, I'd like to ask this question. I'm going to just answer this. Who tells Tom Brady no in Tampa? Nobody. Not Bruce Arians, not Jason Light. Nobody tells Tom Brady no. So maybe they wanted to release Antonio Brown. I, not that Tom Brady can keep him on the team going forward, but Tom Brady can slow things down. And I think the words and the weight of Tom Brady have slowed this process down a little bit. It may be Brady trying to get help for his friend. My friend needs help. What are you doing? We can't do this. Uh, I, I don't want it to go down like this. I think it is Tom Brady making all of this stuff happen. He's a quarterback. He's a general manager. He is a member of ownership. And I say that with respect. You know, I have great respect for Jason Light. I like him a lot. I've known him for a long time. Yeah, same. But here. Tom Brady. Tom Brady is getting everything he has he has gotten and will continue to get as long as he's a member a productive member of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will get everything he wants. He's got Alex Guerrero on the field with locker room uh, with locker room and traveling privileges. He didn't get that in New England. He's got Antonio Brown. He had Antonio Brown here. He didn't get that in New England. He's got control of this offense. He's got everything that he wants. And so mm. that's a, that's a positive thing. Uh, on, on one hand, on the other hand, Mike, we talked about it yesterday, and I, I really took yesterday's show home with me beyond this room here. <laughs> right, right. And and I, I, I was I was thinking, there are so many people out there who need mental health attention, and they mm -hmm. needed to be they needed to be a, a very common mainstream conversation, not something that's hiding in the shadows that you got. Yeah. You've got to whisper about you. 
you just, we need to be open about it. And I like that. But I do wonder that there are some Antonio Browns, and this is like the, the, the 2%, the, 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 the fringe. There are some people on the fringe who will take their bad behavior and when it's convenient for them, they will sure. use the loophole of mental health. Sure. And shame on me. I'll ask for forgiveness. I went to Catholic school. Um, I, I know about confession. Uh, I'm a Christian, so I know about uh, asking for forgiveness and having those sins wiped away. Hi, uh, the Lord will take your sins and as far as east is from west, will separate you from your sins and, for, and forget about your sins. Okay, okay, so I'm going to need to ask for forgiveness for, for saying this. I think Antonio Brown's that dude. I think Antonio Brown is absolutely that dude and Tom Brady Maybe. and his platform is making it easy. It's providing a runway in a for word, Antonio Brown to say in a word. Hey, mental health enabling. Hey, hey, Ina yes. in a word enabling. Okay, a yes. couple of things. I want to say a couple of things because you know what I hate about our current content viewing world is that so many people context. see clips lacks content. Yes, yes. So there are yep. so many people yep. and I appreciate everybody who takes time out of their day to watch anything that we put out that see bits and pieces of our conversations without seeing what preceded it or the ongoing kind of dialogue that you and I have. You and I do not disagree about Antonio Brown and I don't disagree with anything you said. It's all fair, all fair. But I'm going to repeat something that I said yesterday about both sides and by both sides. I mean the book. I mean the Bucks and Antonio Brown. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that is that more than one thing can be true. Antonio Brown very much has lacked accountability because of all the second second chances that he's gotten over the years. Okay. Antonio Brown has to want to be better. He has to want help, which more than likely has been extended to him over the years. He could also be struggling with real emotional, psychological and mental health issues. So you could be right. You could be partially right. You could be completely wrong. There's a spectrum here. Yep. Okay. That's the, that's, that's the brown side. So because so, I think too far right, right now, everything is so damn binary. And so stop making excuses for Antonio Brown. Pray for Antonio Brown. Yeah. yeah. Somewhere. You in know? There. Somewhere. Okay. In there. It's, yeah. in, it's in there. All right. It's somewhere in there. Okay. It's somewhere in there. That's yeah. that side. Buck side. Every right to say we can no longer function as a business, no longer function as a team with Antonio Brown. Every right to say we are done with Antonio Brown. You're no longer a buck. Okay, tired of your drama. Go, go, you know, you're out of here. Every right to not give him any more second second chances. You said a minute ago that Antonio, that, that Bruce Arians is telling the truth, and has always been telling the truth. He's telling the truth in another way, and he's telling on himself. And he and the and this game, this league, continue to tell players what they think of him, of them. As Ice Cube said, here's what they think about you. Here's what they think about you. My problem has always been from the Bucks standpoint. I already addressed Antonio Brown. From the Bucks standpoint, you can't have it both ways. You can't say we'll take the talent and we'll take the crazy that comes with it yeah. until yeah. we can't take it anymore. You can't do that. You cannot have it to where you 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 bring aboard this baggage knowing what you'll get and then when he acts like himself conveniently part ways with him and cut bait that's been my only issue so just like antonio brown needs accountability the bucks are not blameless here the bucks need accountability as well in this situation hmm. because they yeah, because wanna, last week they yeah. were fine with antonio brown and all his issues he gets insubordinate and we still don't know whether he was truly hurt. We still don't know what was said and we may never know when he gets insubordinate That's mostly fair. and acts an ass and acts an ass. Oh, now you got to go. What happened to the rap sheet That's that preceded fair. that? That's, That's mostly all. fair. They, they knew it. They knew it. They, they knew who they got in bed with and they don't now they don't want to sleep in it. That's all I've been, I've said all that I've been saying all week long. I've, 
I've said that before too, but now I'm wondering. No, I didn't know that. Okay, look, look. If you want to go part. with the bed analogy, we can go. We can go with the, take the bed analogy and get ourselves and, and get and get ourselves in trouble. Okay, but yeah. Okay. Well, ev- well, eventually, yeah. You, you, you probably it's like you know what? I've seen enough. <laughs> oh, I, I understand that. I understand that. I understand right. that. Like, well, I'm not. I don't. I'm not. I'm not saying that they should stay in right. bed forever and just live and live with the consequences. What I'm saying is, right. if it, if we're truly I, about, if we're trying to evolve, I'm not going to say that. Society, I'm not going to say that. But <laughs> I'm not going to say not that. Not just society. <laughs> yeah. But as a league, if we're truly trying to evolve, here's okay. It, it, and, it, it, there, and, and, okay. and there Mine. is something wrong with him. They should do better than to simply say, "You're out of here." That's all. And I'll, they I mean, knew, I'm broken this is at this a, point. This is they knew everything except for this. They knew except all of what? the issues. They knew the background. They didn't that he know would take, that he would strip on and, the field. Right. They didn't know because they they always thought because th- you, this were not, is, you were not where, just saying the other day that no one was surprised by this. If you've been following Antonio Brown, yeah, except he had never done that before. He'd done everything else except that. <laughs> Well, okay. Right? okay. He'd never done that before. <laughs> I mean, because I, you know why? Can't put it. You couldn't put it past him. <laughs> This is where this is where most most head coaches when they say the I'm going to take advantage of this narcissist. I've, I've got I've got the game. I've got the stage. I can hold that over him. It, it worst comes to worst. He wants to play. Nope. Yeah, gotcha. That football was important there. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. And right. so that, they, didn't, that, they yeah. couldn't possibly know that right. Is yeah. that fair? They didn't know that. Yes, yes, that no matter what he would so show up and he, play football and play well. Hey, thanks for watching Brother from Another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Peacock. Appreciate you.